Hello and welcome. My name is Nilaus. This is episode eight of our tutorial series based in a book where I am, be, I am designing some blueprints and providing them to you in nice handy books that will be uh, helping on building the base. So the next thing, last time we, uh, previous episode, we built some, some logistic mall, logistic shopping, and now we're going to proceed. So basically during the continuation of the game i'm still assuming that we are having a main bus area and that we are siphoning things off the bus and building from there so basically i will these are this is this is not one big mall that does everything because i don't really feel that's the right way i kind of touched upon it in the previous where i built the logistics side that's been nicely grounded to a halt However, it's, uh, I feel that depending on what you want, what kind of game you want, it, it may be better to have different shopping areas. So that's what, I'm, uh, what I've decided to do. This is kind of the build everything. And let's see which one we want to start with. So the production shop. This is maybe one of the first ones that we want to build. Just want to line it so it looks nice. There. And again, I'm going to build it with robots. So I will not be going through each of these because maybe at the time, not at the time you build this one, you will not have robots. This is, will be what I consider one of the first ones. It contains a lot of things that aside from, from sort of the logistics side, these are the things you need to build to continue to build the base. Let's hook it up. I have filtered some things from the bus so that it's nice and convenient. Let's do that while we look at what we have. We of course have power poles different sizes, not the substations, because substations require the red circuits. And by the time you want to build this, you will not have the red circuits. So this is why I'm constraining this one. Also saying, yep, yeah, you want the miners, you want uh, some steel furnaces, different types here. You can build it as you like. And then we get up to different things. Here we are having a little factory that pushes out on this belt, both the gears uh, the gears and the pipes. See, the gears are not going in there because they're all going to get stuck here. But that's okay because this is just as it's as it continues. Do we have the pump jacks? Let's not build too many, but let's build some. Also, definitely need. I guess this is this is constrained because of the steel. So the steel is being caught here until these are full. That's not really a, a problem. That just means later on, as I pick stuff stuff up. But getting it started is, of course, always difficult. I have also put in some uh, some research labs. Maybe you don't want to put the research labs here. That's fine. But sometimes you want to build a lot. And at the end, we also have some radars. Though these are not technically production, then they're just something that you need a lot of. You just need something like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go. Out. Let's build some radars. This one, it'll continue to run. And we, of course, have more than this. So that's the production. And if you want to build a train based train based base, and I do, then I've gathered all of the train based components into one area. Are they aligned? Yeah, this should be aligned into one area because then is so if you don't want to use trains or you want to do trains later, just build this at a later stage. Or if you want to go early on this, build it here. The only exception is is actually the lights so we have to do let's actually hook it up and see what goes what's going on you can see here against mixed belts coming in you can also just bring it in and mix it right here i just wanted to give it as clean as possible so let's walk through what's on our train shop train shop has of course the two different types of of signals i again have more pipes more gears i could build them on the bus but i'm not particularly a fan of that i'm Neither of these really belong on the bus, in my opinion. Then we have the normal train wagons. We have the locomotives. We have some pumps. They, you could say they don't belong here, but the only the, the first place I use pumps is for loading and unloading of the uh, the gas uh, of the fluid wagons and the fluid wagons we have here as well. Well, that requires tanks, so we might as well also build the tanks here, not the shooting tanks, but the store liquid tanks. And of course, needs train stations. And then because the iron sticks is only used for two things, basically, the lamps and... It's actually funny, why would you... Ah, it's for the lamp post then. Anyway, 
So this is for the railroad tracks. We definitely need that. I can see that there's a slight gap here. So that should work. What is you waiting for? Yeah, you're waiting for the iron here. The iron is long gone because everything is being converted here. But that might actually start working. So either, there we have it. If you want to build trains, build the train stop. If you don't want to build trains, don't build the train shop. But there's more. Let's see if we can get... So depending on... This is again something that I felt was thematically similar. This small little one is related to the circuit network. All of these things are related to circuit network. So let's start by hooking it up. Some people will not use, will not consider this important because it's just, uh, yeah, you just need two, two wires and that's it for, for one thing, right? But in other cases, in other types of setups, this is quite relevant and especially kind of the way I play, I really want a lot of these. And it's just nice to be able to come by in here and just click it. Or, or of course, what's also valid is that at some point you can just convert it. This is the easy part. You just convert all of these to logistics chest and then you have it converted to, to the logistics network. I have decided that I want to use uh, the wooden chests even for the sort of the higher level stuff. Because, well, it's going to be one kind of chest and I don't want to force to be using steel chest because they are actually quite expensive you know and uh, so let's let's not go into forcing people to use steel chests at an early stage and again i have for basically everything i've set the constraint to two stacks some may need more some may not see this copper wire we could have spent more copper wire but really i mean this is gonna fill up soon how much is it it's gonna fill up and then it'll, it'll be fine let's see that's the next one and the next one we have is the high-tech shop. So I've gathered some of the materials, basically stuff that requires the red circuits. I've gathered that in one area so we can get it. It could also sort of be related to the logistics network. At this point, it really makes sense to build it, to convert these immediately. But I don't want to force it because this is actually how you build it. So you can't... This is going to be the first time you build logistics chests, then... Let's keep it, keep it. So we build the substations. The reason I have the substations here is because they use uh, use the red circuits and I didn't have the red circuits when I was building over here. So we also have beacons. Might as well craft some beacons here. It could end up taking just everything uh, and, and shadowing from the rest behind it. For that reason, kind of, you know, just setting in one. But they're hot locally so slow to craft but then just make it and then a lot of steel chests the shield just go on this little parallel belt so they can be picked up by the various types of of logistics chests and lastly which is going to be choking a bit is um is the robo ports robo ports they are going to need some iron here and of course they need the steel but the steel is being all consumed here until we have those two stacks Again, it may look like a problem early on, but if we just, or when we get back, we can see what's going on at the original. Now, the last part of this build everything base is the nuclear shop. So you don't necessarily need that much for building nuclear plants, but it's just, they just take so many resources that it's nice just to say, all right, you know what? I'm just going to set this up and be done with it and leave and go somewhere else. This is slightly different in my constraints here. You can see these are coming in and I expect this to take quite a long time to fill up. And that's perfectly fine as, uh, as I see it. I've already set one condition here. You can, in good conscience, put some wire condition. I have not done so because that really depends on what you want to do. These will just continue filling up. I mean, there are huge amounts, 500 advanced circuits. But anyway, it will gradually fill it up. And the same with these and they'll fill up. The one difference is there's one stack of each of these with the exception of this one where I've set five stacks because they only stack to 10 and they're not that expensive. They do require a lot, but they're not like ridiculously expensive. And there, this is, base. this is basically a great way of building a lot of things in the base quite efficiently and quite easily. What I'm sure that some people would be thinking is, yeah, but to build everything that's sorted by robots. And that's sure, sure that that's perfectly all right. And when I get robots in, I, mean, I have robots in this uh, sample game, 
but by the time you want to create your first oil outpost or your first chemical plant or just go out and put some radars down or build like capture the first mining bases get your first this you do not have robots even to the point where building the first nuclear some would argue and i would actually go so far as to say tech wise i would prefer going nuclear power before going uh, logistics network there's really no reason not to and it'll uh, because by the time you get the logistics network, the robot ports and the charging would take so much power that it would be nice to have a more stable nuclear power at, at that point. So that's why I've decided to do this. This can, of course, be uh, changed into a robot fed one, but the robot fed one is extremely easy to make, build. So there's not really any point in having, in having a, a tutorial for it. It just makes more sense to make a tutorial for this because this can be quite a daunting task to set it up and make sure, figure out what the themes are because you can see there's no green circuits over here and um, there's only a bit of iron going in there while some of the other ones are very iron intensive like this one is the original one here is very iron intensive and you don't you see a bit of stone bricks but only there no stone bricks in the other ones you know it's it's quite simple the way that it's been structured also these oops, that's probably too much to it's scale up at that size anyway i really hope that this is uh, is beneficial this is an extremely easy way just to get to get sorted uh, and with this setup well you will basically have everything you need and you can just come by this area click it and it doesn't take up too much space so i hope you enjoyed it if you do then leave a comment leave a like and subscribe for more content such as this or other content and i hope you enjoyed it and see you around thank you very much